Amory Haskell was a normal six-year-old girl. Then one day, while walking to the neighbor's house to drop off a gift, tragedy struck. She was hit by a truck that left her in a coma for three months. With a 5% chance of living, she miraculously recovered, but was left with severe brain damage. This brain damage was a result of the traumatic impact to Amory's brain in the collision. The impact interrupted the ability of neurons in the brain to properly communicate with each other as well as the rest of the body. One side effect of this, among other things, was the tremor that Amory still suffers from today. In spite of all this, Amory remains extremely positive and attends high school as any girl her age would. Amory is an avid artist and wanted a device that could help her draw without her tremors getting in the way. Our first prototype was a device much like an XY plotter. It consisted of a handle with a pen attached that was guided by rails. It enabled Amory to draw straight lines, but couldn't do much else. We then changed direction and came up with a new approach to helping Amory's problem. A team from our school last year created the pod. This device was great for helping people with tremors that are caused only by intending to do an action like writing, but for those with an uncontrollable persistent tremor like Amory, it is not effective. To create a solution for Amory, we decided to build upon the pod by combining it with a magnetic base to help damp Amory's tremor. This magnetic base runs over an aluminum sheet creating magnetic breaking that lessens the effect of her tremor on her drawing. The magnetic base can also be combined with a sheet of steel to prevent tremors from acting vertically and to increase resistance by adding friction. This principle can be demonstrated very nicely with the magnet acting as a pendulum. When the magnet is swung over a non-conductive surface, it swings freely. However, when a sheet of conductive metal is placed underneath the magnet, the speed of the pendulum is noticeably slowed. The nice thing about this effect is that slow movements are not damped, but quick ones are. This means that deliberate movements Amory makes to draw are not affected, but those caused by her tremor are. For our first prototype using the magnets, we milled a piece of plastic with holes in the bottom. We placed magnets in these holes and attached the pod to see how the two worked together. The device showed dramatic improvement over Amory's freehand drawing, and we knew we were onto something. But of course, our magnetic prototypes would be nothing without the ideal stack of aluminum and steel to create the magnetic damping. The first layer of the stack is a thin sheet of steel. The steel provides a downward force to reduce vertical tremors and increases friction to help reduce horizontal tremors. On top of the steel, there is a spacer which provides the optimal distance between the steel and aluminum. The next layer is a sheet of quarter inch aluminum. This is the most important layer in the stack. It provides variable breaking resistance based on speed to reduce horizontal tremors. The final layer in the stack is a thin piece of ABS plastic. This provides a nice surface for the magrite to glide on and protects the aluminum. Our next prototype was what we knew we wanted the final design to look like. We used a CNC mill, guided by a CAD drawing, to mill the first generation magrite out of a sheet of plastic. The new device was a great start, but needed to be tweaked to be more comfortable for Amory. Our final device, the second generation magrite, was the same as the first, just with a steeper curve that gave Amory more grip and made it more ergonomic for her. On the bottom of the magrite, we used 16 magnets, which we found to be an ideal number. We alternated the poles of the magnets, creating a circular field, which increases the force of the magnetic damping. This video shows Amory drawing a triangle freehand. The jaggedness of her lines is what we try to fix with the magrite. The jagged lines are especially noticeable in this still image of Amory's drawing. When Amory draws with the magrite, her shaking is subdued, her lines become much smoother, and she is able to draw a simple triangle much more quickly. Here is a still image of that same drawing. This image shows just how much smoother the lines are. The magrite has potential far beyond just helping Amory draw. With over 10 million people affected by tremors, the inability to write due to a tremor is widespread. A number of people were intrigued by the pod, but it didn't work for them because it only addresses intention tremors. 
The magrite allows these people to write by actively reducing non-intention tremors. When designing the magrite, we looked for relevant patents. One patent is a laser pointer that uses magnets to reduce the effect of hand tremors on where the laser is pointing. Another patent we found relevant was an exercise wheel which uses magnetic damping to slow and provide resistance for the wheel. When building and designing all of our devices, safety was a top priority. We made sure to wear proper eye and ear protection. We also made sure all of our devices were safe for Amory. They have no sharp protruding edges and are smooth so splintering will not occur. Throughout this project, we learned a lot about Amory's tremors and how hard it is for her to live with them every day. We are grateful to have had the opportunity to work with her and hope our device will make a meaningful impact on her life.